Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. This is iOS 4.3 beta 2, and I just want to give you some of the a walkthrough of the new features just to show you what you can expect with this next incarnation of the iOS software. So, if we go back to uh, general here, you notice that this slide switch that's on that's on the side here um, for as long as uh, or in the pre 4.0 days for the iPad, this switch was actually used for a look, look uh, I can't even speak, I'm sorry, for a lock rotation uh, button. But once iOS 4.0 came, or rather 4.2, it was changed to mute because of the multitasking view that could change the lock rotation. A lot of people complained about it, they weren't happy, so now Apple's given you the choice. So if you use a lock rotation, now I'm going to lock the rotation. You can't change it, okay? And when you go into the multitasking view, then that becomes the volume. Conversely, when you switch this to mute, you can mute or unmute via that button, and then the orientation lock shows up in the multitasking software. But I think one of the biggest things I'll get to right now, multitasking gestures. Apple has implemented um, three, four, and five finger app gestures or, or gestures. Um, now they're providing this. They're providing this as a preview to gather input on how these gestures will work with your apps. But this will not be enabled in iOS 4.3 for customers when it ships. And also with the beta, this wasn't even enabled by default, having these choices to turn on or off. You had to go into Xcode and take care of that. And this gives some merit to the rumors that the future iOS devices are not going to have home buttons. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think they should probably keep the home button. But let's just go over some of the new ones. So you have five finger to destroy, pinch, and close. And then three finger up. Sorry about that. It's having problems. There you go. Three finger up will get you to the multitasking bar here. Then you can go ahead and jump into an app. And with five fingers, you can move between apps, which is pretty cool. So up will get you to multitasking. You can click on something. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm at a weird angle here. You can click on something, close it, multitask up, jump to something else. It's really a pretty easy way to maneuver around the software. I really think these gestures, um, and they have been enabled for I for iPhones as well, they, they, they're they pretty good, but to expect a, such a small screen, such as the iPhone, to use five fingers is kind of too much. So obviously, if this were to be adopted for the smaller screen, the iPhone and the iPod Touch, they would definitely have to change that. Now, another new feature is kind of subtle, but in Notes, there's now Noteworthy. So let's go up. We'll go to Notes here. This is Helveltica. We go back to Settings, change it to Noteworthy. And now it's Noteworthy. Pretty cool stuff there. So just some uh, other features here that have been mentioned. Uh, GSM phones will be getting the personal hotspot app. It actually works on the AT&T version that people have tested it on, which is pretty exciting. Also, AirPlay now supports third-party apps, so now your favorite devs can go in and adopt their applications to support this video and audio streaming service. Now also, when we've gone through some of the files hidden deep within the source code and the SDK. We found some interesting new tidbits. There are new FaceTime camera and photo booth icons in beta iPad software. Obviously, none of that existed before because there is no cameras, but it now exists, giving some merit to rumors that there will be front and or rear facing camera in the next iPad. There have also been several effects that are rumored to be going into photo booth for iPad and iPhone that would you know give some cool backgrounds and such to your images. There are also higher resolution images throughout that suggest higher, resolu higher resolution screens for future models. And there's also been support for more powerful graphics chipsets in the software as well. Something very cool, photo streaming. There, this was a quote that they found inside of the software. Photo streaming uploads and stores the last 30 days of your photos on MobileMe and downloads them to all of your devices. So essentially, you take a picture on your iPhone, all of your iOS devices will get that picture synchronized to it and it'll be stored in the cloud for up to 30 days. So that's pretty exciting. 
So it's really kind of addicting, actually, to just go between everything, you know? Jiggles a little bit. Exciting. So, I'm Michael Strzok from michaelstrzok.com. What is your favorite features in iOS 4.3? For me, it has to be the multi-tasking uh, gestures, which, unfortunately, won't ship with 4.3 whenever it goes gold. Again, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. I am Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys.